Now I am at my dad's house. I have no light, no nothing. My camera is balancing on a Red Bull can. I'm gonna do my makeup pretty much the same as I normally do. Jack is home today. So you guys know I'm all, I'm excited, I'm excited. But um, I have some new brushes and I kind of want to do a review on them. Now this isn't sponsored or anything, like literally these just like arrived at my house. Although, they look amazing, like genuinely. Where have I set them? These are the brushes. Now I also brought my own brushes in case these were not good. But I think they'll be good. These are from the company Rouge and Rouge. Um, and these are their dragon brushes. Now I was showing these to my stepbrother yesterday and um he thinks that they're class. Um and I went onto the website because he wanted to know how much they were. Um these are like I think they were like sixty dollars or something, um, which isn't bad. You get you get nine brushes in this if I counted correctly. No, five face brushes and then like three eyeshadow brushes and an eyebrow brush, which is all you really need. So I'm gonna try out these brushes, and if you wanna see what I think of them, then make sure to watch on. I'm sorry for like my wet hair, like honestly, like. We can all just go on to foundation. Now I, I said you got th five face brushes. This is probably the one that I will use for foundation. It is a small um, flat topped brush. Um, these brushes are very soft um, and they have like their red tip on them. Um, they, this feels, it doesn't feel like too dense. Like it's still like moves and stuff so I feel like it probably might take a little bit of product but I felt worse so I feel like I actually will really like this um as you guys know I love to cake on my foundation so we are going in firstly with my MAC Studio Fix I think it's so crazy that I love this so much because some of you guys might know I actually got the MAC Studio Fix by accident because um I wanted my MAC Studio Fix powder and they gave me foundation and I didn't realise. So I'm gonna put this all over my face. So this is a lot different to my normal foundation brushes. It feels like a lot softer and more similar to my um like powder brushes it doesn't really feel like a foundation brush maybe that's just because it's new like and all my brushes are like really old and probably like all dry and gross although it actually did put it on quite nice I feel like it's more of a medium coverage it's giving me though and like normally this would be like a high coverage foundation for me personally when I put it on with my other brushes so I do think it is maybe taking a little bit of product in with it or it's maybe just holding on to it a little bit more but that probably will happen with newer brushes um I also can't apologize enough for this terrible lighting Mm. It seems to be blending it all right so far. I feel like I still will have to go in with my beauty blender like I always do anyways and just dab it right into the skin. Some little bristles are coming off but again I think that's just like because it's new. It's just got maybe a few little loose ones. That's not like a big deal or anything. Not as if there's many. I'm actually really liking this. I'm, I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm using, can we all actually just appreciate how dirty this is? Like there's an eyelash and everything in this one and like glitter. 
iconic London, please send me another um, one of your concealer palettes because um, yeah. I'm gonna use a mixture between my um, Eraser Eye Concealer by Maybelline and my Iconic London Concealers. So first I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline one, which is a little dried up. Um, I don't use brushes for my concealer really, like unless I'm applying it and I don't wanna waste any of these brushes to do so. I wanna keep all the smaller ones for my eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just using a old as beauty blender. We're going into my favorite thing and it is my Chanel cream bronzer. I feel like I might try to use this as my cream bronzer. I don't feel like it will pick up much of this because this is quite a hard- oh! This is actually picking it up really well compared to a lot of my brushes. Um, so maybe this was, maybe this will be um, good for this. I'm just patting the product on first. Goodness, I actually really like this. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I feel like these are gonna be like my new favorite brushes so far. They seem to be great and I was so in need for new brushes like anyone that watches me actually knows how bad my brushes are. In my face with my Laura Mercier powder. I am going to take this little brush and I'm going to set my face to this. First off though I am going to make sure I have no creases in my under eye. And then I'm going to take the powder on the brush because I have recently figured out I prefer baking with a brush, although this is kind of sending a lot of it all over the place compared to when I use my beauty sponge or other brushes. It's not really holding the product very well. I think it is because it's so soft. Like all over me now and I have white jeans on. Now what I like to do is just blend that all into the rest of my face. I'm going to move on to bronzer and I think I actually might use the same brush. As you guys know, I am a sucker for reusing brushes. So I'm going to go into my Give Me Sun by MAC with the same brush that I just used to bake. And I'm going to bronze up my face. I like these brushes maybe just don't like hold as much product as my old brushes did but I don't know if that's a bad thing because I actually am kind of liking how my face is turning out because I feel like I'm having to take more time and like actually build things up rather than like just do my usual like slapping them on and hoping for the best um yeah so far all the face brushes I have used I would recommend I just think they are a little bit of a shock to me because I'm so used to having my old brushes which um, carry a lot more product um, and I feel like it's just because they're dirty though. It's been a long long time for my got new brushes. Contour with my Anastasia or Anastasia whatever you want to call it. Um, contour kit and I'm going to use all three of the bottom shades first these two shades um, because these are the warmer shades and I like to kind of blend them in to my bronzer and I'm using this brush from the collection it is like a slanted brush and I'm going to contour my cheeks What I like to do is take this middle shade that is more of a shadowy colour and I like to do my jaw with this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just take this big like clean brush there's nothing on it and I just like to kind of like go like this. I don't know why. I just feel like it takes off any like excess powder that's just setting on the face. The next thing we are going to go into is my eyebrows and I actually got a new eyebrow brush the other day and a, a new eyebrow product but I left it at my sister's house 
so I don't have it right now but I luckily got you get an eyebrow brush in this um set so we can try it out but we're gonna have to use it with my regular powder which is the collection brow powder now on this eyebrow brush there isn't a spoolie on the end so I did still have to take my other eyebrow brush that does have a spoolie on it um, and use it to brush up my brows. I'm going to try and zoom you guys in. Now again this brush feels really soft to me and as you can see it like kind of like spreads the product like all over my face. Like as I said it doesn't like hold the product which is kind of annoying. And you end up with fallout and I feel like it doesn't it's not giving me like like I'm having to use more product than usual because it's not I feel like maybe if I wet the brush though I'm not mad at it I think I prefer the shape of this brush than my old brush it's just a little bit annoying that I do need to use so much more product. Now I do think wetting the brush has stopped the fallout that I had before when using this brush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in to my press powder. Um, I'm going to take, hmm, what one? What one will I use? Okay, I'm going to take this brush here just to use to set my concealer with my Laura Mercier powder. I just feel like these brushes don't hold product very well and I think it is because they've made them like so like soft and fluffy. Um, it just kind of like lets the product sit on it and then it just flies everywhere. We have our brows, we can move on to our eyeshadow. Um, I have with me today, um, I have my Naked palette and my MAC palette. The colour we're going to use is from the MAC palette and it is this colour. And this is the MAC Warm palette um, for anyone that wants to know. I am taking the Fluffy. This is a nice brush, I am liking it. I'm going to go into my MAC bronzer using that same brush just to give this more of a warm colour. Um, yeah, perfect. And I'm just blending this through that other colour. I am liking this eyeshadow brush. It seems to be blending very well. It's soft on the eye. And I'm liking the handle, so everything so far with the eyeshadow brushes are a yes, 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 yes. No, they don't have a small eyeshadow brush except from this one. But this is what I want to use on my lid. I really like um, rounded, like little small rounded brushes like this one. This is from the Cura Daily set. Um, but I'm going to take this one anyways and I'm going to use this to put my bronzer underneath my eyes. I'm going to take my Naked palette by Urban Decay. I'm going to take the colour Low Blue. Um, I'm going to take the brush that we used for our, our um, setting our concealer. And I'm just going to take it on that. I'm applying this to my outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just going to blend it into my crease. These brushes are very nice to use on the eye. I'm just going back into their other brush to just blend this in again. I'm going to take the colour Lumbre, which is this colour here from the Warm Palette, and I'm going to take their little flat brush. I'm not going to wet it yet to see how it kind of like comes out without wetting the brush. I'm going to apply this to the middle of my eye. Mm. See, it's not really picking it up a lot. 
like it's there but like she's just there like she's just like hi we want her to be like I am here and I'm here to stay I sprayed my brush I know sometimes that could help and it helped before um I mean yeah I feel like these brushes are good at blending. It's just hard to actually get them to pick up the product. So I added um, a bit of, so that was Lumbre I used and then my camera shut off and just in the outer corners I added a bit of Scorch just to darken it up a bit. What I'm going to do now is take my Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe that brush we put the pink on and I'm going to see how well it um, works with my highlighter without a spray because I know that this highlighter is like amazing and I I use spray with it sometimes but like I know I don't have to so I want to see if it is the brushes that are doing this so okay like you can still see the highlighter is amazing but again I feel as if like it's like it's just putting the product all over my face and like that is not what I want so like as you guys can see this highlighter is unbelievable I feel like whenever I do too dark of a, a look I can always count on this to kind of brighten it up too put on some mascara and I don't have to highlight our face now I was thinking of using I feel like I've used all the face brushes already so that I can use for highlighter is probably the one we use for contour. I'm literally making my whole house shake. Um, and then I'm just going to take my finger and do my nose. Um, now it's time to move on to lips and this is pretty basic. I think I'm just going to use my matte lipstick from Primark. Normally I wipe my lips, but again, I'm lazy, so uh, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah. And that is all my brushes used. So yeah. So yeah, my hair is still a little bit damp. I'm going to go and do it now. But that is the end of this video. Again, these were the Rouge by Rouge dragon brushes that I was trying out. Um, my kind of like final decision is that I actually really like these brushes and I will continue to use these brushes. A lot of these brushes are actually nicer than the brushes I have been using. I love their eyeshadow brushes. Although, like I said, they are a little bit like, they're too like soft so when you're using product it does have a lot of fallout and you do have to take a little bit more than usual although I feel like as I continue to use them maybe they'll roughen up a bit um another thing is the foundation brush and stuff I had to use a little bit more to build up the coverage although I didn't actually mind that because I feel like because they weren't taking so much I was able to build stuff up spill stuff up rather than just like shove it on my face um i wish they had more brushes though like more eyeshadow brushes and like a uh, highlighter brush and stuff um just to make things like easier because obviously they only have like two eyeshadow brushes and then like a flat brush for your lid and stuff but um overall they are actually really good brushes i would recommend them i will put a link in the description for any of you that do want to check them out or do want to check out um I think they do eyelashes as well when I was on their um, site. But yeah, so these were the Dragon brushes and I actually really like them. So yeah, go check out their brushes. Um, uh, remember also to like, comment and subscribe. Remember, I love your support so much and I'm so thankful for it. Um, one last thing is to remember to comment down below um, what you think about this makeup look. If you think the brushes um, did a good job and any other ideas you guys want to see. Um, one last thing also is I'm still trying with the daily uploads. Um, so I hope you guys are all enjoying them. Um, I love you all so, so, so much and goodbye.